Hi, today we are going to learn on writing program from a given process. Before we start, I would like you to watch this YouTube video from RealPass channel. Please visit, like and subscribe their videos to give credit. A simple everyday example of automation would be an ordinary pull-in and park automatic car wash. If we break it down step by step, it should help you understand how automation works. Once you select your wash, that input will run a certain program on the controller. Next, you drive forward until a sensor is flagged, starting the wash cycle, and another sensor tells the driver when to stop. From there, the wash will continue through the cycle that the controller is running. In a typical car wash, the nozzle spraying the water and chemicals will travel alongside a vehicle, and a sensor will detect when it is past the vehicle. This saves time, water, and chemicals by controlling when the nozzle spray, as well as serves as an input to advance to the next step of the wash. Once the car is sprayed, the program tells the wash to spray the next chemical. This is done by the controller turning on and off each pump as it's needed. The controller then runs through the rest of the cycle and wash that was selected in the beginning. Once all steps have been completed, the driver will be signaled to pull out of the wash. Essentially, the only human intervention in the process is the driver selecting what wash they want. Based on the explanation, let's say that we are now given a task to write the PLC program using DCX Programmer for the car wash as in the presented video. I have simplified and specified the process in the car wash and divide them into four sections for easy explanation and understanding. In the first section, the driver is asked to select the desired program from a selection of program from A to D. After the program is selected, a notification is played through the speaker. Please move forward until the stop sign is displayed. This is to instruct the driver for the next step. To give you some ideas on how to start, you may have to consider first to use the interlocking so that the driver cannot choose more than one program at the same time. Second, you may add a reset button just in case the driver pressed the wrong program and wish to reselect. Third, you may also put conditions in the ladder diagram that unless a program is selected, the car wash process will not be functioning. Other considerations beside the, the one mentioned may also be relevant and can be put as the conditions in the ladder diagram. These are the next sections in the car wash process where in section 2 Water is sprayed at the car, whereas in section 3, pump 1 and pump 2 is triggered based on the selected program, while in section 4, scrubbing, washing and blowing function are based on this program selected. Before creating the ladder diagram, it is easier if we start to do the flowchart of the process.
This is the flowchart of the process where it is put in four sections of section 1, section 2, section 3 and section 4 based on the figure given. In the beginning of the process, the driver will select the program. After that, the speaker will be turned on to instruct the driver to move the car forward. As the sensor 1 sends the car, nozzle 1 is turned on. At the end of section 2, sensor 2 will sense the car and display the stop and park sign. Then, the conveyor will move. In section 3, sensor 3 will sense the car and the conveyor will stop. Palm 1 or palm 2 will be activated to spray the chemical needed as in the program. After 10 seconds, the conveyor will move again. In section 4, when S sensor 4 senses the car, the conveyor will stop. 